Hi there, I'm back in my works 25 metre or 27 yard indoor firing range and today I'm here to do a challenge. Yesterday I placed a clip on my channel on YouTube and a gentleman uh, commented saying great shooting uh, but have you tried shooting cocktail sticks on a real calm day at 27 yards? I have look on my channel so I clicked on his name and went onto his channel and there fair enough uh, was a clip of him shooting two cocktail sticks at 27 yards on a calm day. And this got me thinking because I thought to myself, well, I can actually do that, I'm sure I can. So I've come into work this morning uh, and I brought some cocktail sticks and some blue tack from uh, a shop this morning. And what I intend to do is place not two but five of them up in the indoor range uh, and see if I can hit all five at 27 yards, 25 metres. The reason I've done five instead of two is because this gentleman did it on a still calm day, but even on a still calm day, as we all know, uh, you do get slight breezes from between shots uh, so I've upped it from 2 to 5 to make it a fair test and I've also gone down to a 177 pellet instead of a 2-2 I could use my R10 but uh, I've gone to a two, uh, 177 pellet because obviously it's smaller and narrower so it's going to be a real small pellet heading towards a real thin target once I've done that and I'm sure I'll be able to do it with this uh, rifle which is my HW100S I'm then going to change the targets from, match, uh, from cocktail sticks to actually match sticks now a matchstick, as we all know, is the same width uh, as a cocktail stick, but it's shorter. And instead of hitting the matchstick anywhere, because, you know, uh, I don't think that would be a test really, I'm going to aim for the brown bit on top of the match, so the striker part of the match. So I'm aiming to send a 177 pellet towards the top of a matchstick and only hit the brown bit on top of the match. Now I think that's a test for anyone, uh, but I'm sure I can do it. Let's see how we get on. There's a shot of a cocktail stick next to a match stick and as you can see they're nearly uh, the same uh, diameter. Uh, but actually when I'll be shooting the match sticks I'm actually aiming only for this part. So the brown striker bit. I'm not sure the technical name but we'll just call it the brown bit. Right before I go on to try these two challenges uh, I'm just going to zoom in uh, so you can see I put a a4 piece of card up with nothing on it and I'm going to check there my HW100 by shooting a 177 pellet somewhere in the middle of the card and then I'm having another couple of shots at the same hole but seeing where the fall of shot is and then adjusting it to get it bang on zero uh, if need be so there's the first shot uh, and it's nice and central to the card let's see where the fall of shot is then. Uh, five shots, basically, through the same old. Well there's us down at the target end now, and as you can see the group is really small. I've actually drawn around a five pence piece, uh, the five pence piece is here look, so you can actually see it was a five pence piece I drew around like so. Uh, and the group is probably just over half the size of it, maybe, uh, maybe half the size of a five pence piece if I was to move it across like so. Right, I'm going to put the gun tough laser range finder onto the target and laser it and as you can see it's 25 meters. I'll zoom in now and you can clearly see the five cocktail sticks pushed into some blue tack to stop them from moving uh, so they'll only actually move if they've been hit. Today the rifle I'm using is my favourite HFT rifle well it will be once I take up HFT series next year on the circuit it's a HW100S, uh, obviously 177 calibre, so it's going to be a real small thin projectile hurtling towards a very thin uh, target at 25 metres. And the pellets I'm using are my favourite RWS Superfields, uh, which work really well in this rifle. Let's see how we get on. I'm going to try working from the left target across to the right. 
The camera is off to my right hand side, so as I'm giving commentary, uh, what you actually see on the camera might be slightly different due to the angle uh, of the backstop being a little bit further back than the actual target. Uh, only a slight bit by probably about 30 centimetres. Uh, but we'll see how we get on. I've been practicing off camera uh, and I've had some good results. That's one out of one so far. The scope I'm using is the Hawk Sidewind Attack 30 uh, with the mill dot reticle. And I like this scope because it's got a real thin mill dot reticle. Saying that though, even on times 12 magnification as I'm at the moment, the cocktail sticks are the same width as uh, the thin reticle, so it's got to be a perfect shot or I definitely miss. Two out of two. Three out of three. This one seems slightly leaning to the right through the camera, uh, through the scope. It's going to be quite tricky. to pick basically a point and it was only probably the side of the cross there because it was leaning slightly and it wasn't uh, straight vertical up and down. That one just looked like skimmed it really really close to it. Right, to finish off then, I've actually changed the cocktail sticks for matches. Now the matches are the same thickness as the cocktail sticks, but obviously shorter. And as you can see on the top of them, there's like the brown bit what actually is used to strike. The second one from the left is actually leaning again to the right, which is going to cause a problem. But I'm going to try and, this time, shoot as closest, close to the brown bit at the striker as possible. If you can actually see that uh, on the camera, that shot actually hit this, the actual brown bit and knocked the brown bit off the match. That's pretty amazing accuracy. That's basically a pellet on a pellet accuracy. Now for the testing leaning one. Same again, if you look, you'll see the uh, brown's been knocked off the match. It's two out of two. That one skimmed it and actually moved it slightly left, I believe, so I'm going to have another shot of that. Brown removed from that one. Two to get. So brown removed from that one. So 
So I've dropped one shot so far. Uh, so five shots for it. Final, final one to get. Slightly pellets width as I look at it to the right. And there you go. Seven shots, but this time, as you've just witnessed, with no fluke, because there was five of them, I've just taken the, the brown bit off a match. So that is pellet on pellet accuracy, five, five out of seven shots. And I'll just zoom out again, so you know, I'm not cheating the camera. And the people who do follow me, they know I don't cheat the camera, and what I'd actually do is what I say. So, yep, the cocktail sticks was fine, uh, not really a test for this rifle, uh, but I think hitting five matchsticks uh, or the, the striking bit on a matchstick is a test even in an indoor range. Uh, so I'm quite happy with that. Right, this is me now down at the target end. Uh, and if I move the camera to the first one to the uh, one on the left, you can see it's totally been removed. Then the next one totally removed. The third one, which I think took two shots, you can see the first shot uh, missed slightly and the second one skimmed it and actually took uh, some of the brown off. The next one took uh, most of the brown one and the last one took the actual whole bit of the brown and the uh, top of the matchstick. So that's really good shooting and I'm pleased with the performance of my uh, HW100 with the RWS Superfield pellets yet again, outstanding pellets.